when you're ready. Hi, everyone. We've had a lot of uh, thoughtful questions about the genus Carex, and I've brought them up a number of times in a lot of our shows. So I picked three out with distinct different characteristics, yet very much shared characteristics. The uh, one I like a lot for moist to average soil is Carex bromoides. Carex bromoides uh, gets around 18, 20 inches tall of the foliage. Very, you can see very airy, light foliage. It flowers in April, late April, mid to late April with silvery flowers. And the nice thing about Carex bromoides is when it does bloom, it doesn't split and fall over. A lot of the sedges during flowering will split and lay flat on the ground. And then after they flower, they go vegetative in late May and June, and then they'll fill the centers. And that splitting and falling disturbs people because they think the animal laid on it or it just doesn't look tidy because it's flat. So Bromoides keeps a nice center. And again, it does well in moist to average soil. It has a very soft textural look. And this one I like a lot. Uh, this is a selection of a native one. This is Carex muscingumensis. It's a selection called Little Midge. You can see the foliage goes horizontal. So it looks it's very dense, has a very airy look with the horizontal foliage, and it only gets around, oh, 18 inches, 12 to 18 inches tall. And this also grows in moist to average soil. Both of these do not prefer dry conditions. So if you have average to moist soil, these both do well in average to moist soil. And this is a nice contrast for the Carex bromoides. So if you're doing a moist woodland area going into sun, you can use this as your dominant species, and then you can drift islands of Carex muscingomensis little midge in there, and you can do it at any percentage you want, because you know what? That's you being the artist in the garden. You can put three here, five here, four here. You can create islands like uh, islands in the Pacific Ocean, as big and small as you want, and the bromoides becomes your matrix. Now I chose this one. This is Carex Mühlenbergi. I like this because a lot of us are using Carex Pennsylvanica already for dry woods, and Pennsylvanica is a super sedge for dry woods. It spreads by uh, runners where it knits together, creates an open turf. And within that open turf, Carex Mühlenbergi gets around 12 to 20 inches tall, the foliage, and the foliage stays fairly upright, slightly vase-shaped, and this again will give you a very nice architectural feature when you scatter these through a Carex Pennsylvanica planting, because the idea is we do not want to duplicate the plantings of the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and 90s with Vinca, or Euonymus, or Pachysandra. It's not about a monoculture. It's about creating a diverse planting, and then also the planting becomes your signature. How you put the plants in, the patterns you create. Again, it's not being the laborer in the garden. Who wants to be a laborer in the garden? You're the artist in the garden. You're doing the joyful gardening. And also, again, percentage-wise, you can put three together, four together. I wouldn't go more than four or five, because it would look too large of a clump in relation, unless you have big scale, if you have a large area. But I like Muhlenberg guy. Uh, for drier soil, average to drier, and it's kind of upright vase-shaped habits. So these are three sedges that are too easy. They're all available. You can find them at a lot of, uh, I'd say, local garden centers. Nothing against Home Depot and Walmart. Where they have a lot of plants that get people started in gardening. But if you go to, your, so I, I really go to your local garden center, your local nursery, and if they don't have it, just ask them because local people can make changes quickly. They're not looking at the bottom line, they're looking at something they love. Their business is something they love. And, and it's a lifestyle for them, it's not corporate. So when you go there, ask them for these sedges, support them, and all the information you're ever going to need will come from them and the people they know who they can recommend to have communication with. So thanks a lot, and we'll talk about some more sedges later. Bye.